kaboom. My broom. I'm gonna take a broom handle. And on these, these particular ones, all I have to do is press the button one time up there. I press it once and let go of it. I'm gonna hear one little click, chirp, and then in a few seconds it's gonna go beep, 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 pause, beep, 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 pause, beep. Then I know it's reset. Okay, I see I turned the breaker on, the orange light is on, so I know I got power to it. The button is right there in the middle of it. And I'm not even gonna do it on the ladder, I'm just gonna do it here. Let go of it. Let's see. Pause. Beam. Boom. Boom. Boop. Now that reset. And it also did the other smoke alarms that I already installed. But I still have to, I've still got to go through the whole thing to reset these. Okay? Don't forget about that. It's really important to go ahead and set those so that you know that they're going to work when needed. Okay? I'm going to press it once. Okay. Now see the other ones, the other ones still went off. Okay. So you're going to hear, you're going to hear that. Now I'm going to set this one. These are the three that I reinstalled, that I installed as new. The other ones are, see the other ones are still going too. Now I installed a fourth one down here and because I turned the power off and turned it back on, I've got to believe I need to reset this one here too, okay? So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead, if you ever, if you have any questions, set it, reset it, okay? I installed that one brand new prior. Okay. It's all done. There you go. Look at that. I've got them all reset. Now it's about I'm going to take I'm going to take the um these are the old ones, so I'm going to take I'm going to flip this up and I'm going to take the batteries out. Okay, make sure you take the batteries out. Don't just throw those away with the battery still hooked up because then it could start chirping in your garbage can or something. Okay, so I'll do that next. Then I'll pick up all this stuff and I'll go ahead and I'll save. I'll save these little shower caps. I could put all of the old smoke alarms back in the same box before I throw them away. Okay, but save your, your directions and your installation. Every smoke alarm, no matter who you get them from, they should have this in the box. If you want to save that, you can. Uh, you can put your insulation date on that too if you want, whatever. Okay? And then, around each smoke alarm that you installed, you're going to have to vacuum up and pick up. Because see all this stuff here? These are little bits of sheetrock stuff that has fallen down on here. Look, look at all of it. It's everywhere. So I'm going to... I'm going to pick up all that stuff and then I'm going to run the vacuum over it. Let's, let's see if it's like that in these other areas. I'm sure it is. Your job is not done until you clean up. Okay, so, so here's the smoke alarm right there in the hallway. So straight down in here. There's not, there's not a whole lot, but I see some. See, there's a piece. There's a little piece. There's a piece. And here's some stuff off the ladder. Here's my crappy wire nut that I that I'm not gonna use. I'm gonna that I'm gonna end up throwing away. So go through go through all of your areas where you've done them, pick up all your stuff that's come down. Here here's here's something here. 
And uh, here, this smoke alarm is way over here. When I dropped it, it, it went over here. Make sure you've got everything all, all together, thrown away in the same boxes or, or thrown away so you know everything here and then run your vacuum on here. When you say you're done, make sure you're cleaned up. You don't want someone coming down here and say, well, hey, how come you left this and this and this and this? It doesn't make you look good. Okay, so that's the last thing I've got to do before I say I'm done. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. And in fact, I've got to install the other four smoke alarms upstairs. I don't think I'm going to video that. I mean, you should have gotten the, the uh, idea by now on how to install the new smoke alarms. Okay, see ya next time. Okay, I got all the ones upstairs. I've reset them all, turned the breaker back on, reset all the all of the smoke alarms. The four upstairs I had to press and I thought I might as well do that downstairs too just to be on the safe side because the power was turned off. Now the last thing I wanted to mention on these smoke alarms, remember I always like to get things in in bulk? Well, you buy these single singular at the store and I got these at Home Depot and I believe uh, last time I purchased these I purchased more than six at a time because I knew I was going to be installing some in quite a few different condos and the lady said oh hey there's a there's a price break if you buy six or more and so she rung them up six six at a time if, and like I got 18 she had to run them up six at a time and then another ring up at six at a time and another ring up at six at a time and I got like two bucks off on each one. Now this time I bought eight of them and I'm not sure if I asked her if I got a discount on six so I'm gonna go back to Home Depot. Next time I'm at Home Depot I'll find my receipt and I'll take it back and I'll say hey did I get a did I get a break on these after I bought six because I had another Home Depot they gave me a breakdown a, a break you know like two bucks off and so I might be able to get like uh, if it's two dollars off um, after six I might get like 12 bucks back so you know I'm not gonna make a special trip to Home Depot but next time I'm there I'm gonna check it out and I want you to do the same hey one last thing if you have sensitive ears make sure you put some earplugs on before you start working and if you don't have any earplugs you can Put a little bit of toilet paper in your ears. That's what I do. I do have some earplugs too, but anyways, do that because that is really ear piercing. Be safe, not sorry. Look at this light switch. I'm in a bedroom. Okay, it's supposed to turn on these two uh, lamps, and I've got those on, and I know they're on, but you know, on a paddle, up is on, down is off. And I thought, what's going on? So I went over there, was flipping around uh, to try to to try to turn this on. You know. I was turning all this, nothing, nothing happens. And I'm like, okay, what's happening here? And then I flip this again, the bottom, that's supposed to be off. And look, it's on. That tells me, what does that tell me? That tells me that this light switch, whoever installed it 17 years ago, they installed it upside down. Top is down here, 
bottom is up there. And I'm going to check that out. We're, and you want to see that stick around. So the first thing I've got to do is turn the breaker off.